Hi guys, Specs here. Just wanted to make a, a brief video. It's not going to go into too much depth, but always easier to make videos rather than write lengthy replies. And it's in light of a forum topic that was the title Propecia and uh, Getting Pregnant. Now, I'm not a doctor. Um, I have no medical background, but what I do have is a vast amount of experience um, in this industry, speaking to people on finasteride and actually been a finasteride user or was for 17 years. I'm now on detasteride. I was on uh, finasteride for 10 years at the point that my wife and I decided to try for children. Uh, we tried for children and literally got pregnant at first attempt with twins, boy and girl twins who are now turning 11 years old next month. So from personal experience, I had no issues with um, obviously conceiving children um, on finasteride. Uh, at that point that I decided to make that decision to continue on finasteride and try to conceive for children, I'd spoken to a number of doctors who didn't feel there were any issues, incredibly low risk, if any, uh, with regards to causing any issues to the, to the baby, or uh, actually in terms of fertility. Um, now, I'm not saying that it's a fertility drug, but it caused me no issues, and I had twins at first attempt after being on the medication for 10 years. Now, that was me. <clears throat> but I think the point I want to get across is um, there is such a high rate of infertility <clears throat> in men anyway, regardless of finasteride. So, But guys that are potentially on finasteride are always going to question, is it going to cause infertility? I think you've just got to see it for what it is. My advice to you would be, obviously speak to your GP. Don't be too alarmed about taking the medication in terms of infertility. Get checked out. Well, it would be a good idea if you're about to get on the medication. Get your um, kind of fertility levels checked prior to it. Um, but it's a bit of a red herring, the whole finasteride uh, infertility thing, in my personal opinion, speaking from personal experience. Now, there is um, kind of some kind of truth in the fact that definitely keep the medication away from a pregnant lady, as you would do petrol or a naked Bunsen burner flame, you know? You don't want a pregnant lady going near anything that potentially is gonna cause her any harm. And obviously, a DHT blocker, regardless if she's pregnant or not, isn't gonna do her any favors. So I would highly recommend just try not worry too much if you're in this dilemma of wanting to start children and you are on finasteride. You know what, at the end of the day, you know, to be safe, in your, you know, from, from a mental point of view in terms of being able to park it and know that you are doing the best that you can do. Come off the medication for a few months even, then try to conceive, get your partner pregnant, wife pregnant, and then get back onto the medication. You know, it's a no-brainer. However, I chose not to. I chose to continue to take the medication. I fathered twins at first attempt. My wife is fine. My children are absolutely fine. So it's um, each to their own. Um, but I just wanted to clarify a few things by video rather than writing a big extensive reply on one of the forums. I hope this video has been of help. You know, I'm just speaking from personal experience with the medication. I had no issues. I never experienced any side effects from the medication. People do experience side effects from the medication, but it's each to their own. You know, like people experience side effects with pretty much any medication that's out there. You know, I struggle to take um, ibuprofen. Um, anyway, I hope the video has been of help. Sorry to waffle on, um, but hopefully someone will find the video of some use. Take care.